The signs asking for a no vote on 13 didn't work. Greyhound racing will be phased out in two years. Voters deciding two to one to end it. This is an opportunity for thousands of dogs to get out of the cages into loving homes. The Humane Society of the United States, part of the push to end racing, saying it's cruel and inhumane, claiming dogs are too often hurt and suffering. The Longwood track has been here since the mid-30s. Nobody here wanted to speak with us, but in an email from the ownership group, there was disappointment concerning a ban on a sport that has been in existence in the state for 80 years. Going on that it impacts not just the overall investment, but the over 100 plus employees, some of whom have worked there for several decades. I was kind of sad to, to hear about it this morning. The manager of the Post Time Lounge, so named because of its location near the track, also was thinking about the workforce. I get the whole humane thing with the animals and the treatment of them, but you know, there's other ramifications. There are people's employments, they rely on this place. So. They could do simulcasting, they can do other, other things and probably uh, save some, some of those jobs. For the folks promoting yes on 13, the reason they asked for a two year period before phasing out dog racing was to give greyhounds a better chance of being adopted. This is a, a, a victorious day for dog lovers, for animal advocates, and, and most of all for the greyhounds. Track management says for now, it will be business as usual.